Hi, my name is Ray Ruiz and I'm owner of Lice Control. We started into the lice business because uh, families were having issues back, at, back then, just like ourselves. Me and my wife had problems with our family and uh, we attempted to do it ourselves for months at a time and uh, we're still getting people called to this day that we are in the exact situation as we were then. So uh, what you're going to be seeing today is some of the basic things when it comes to treatment. So this is a loud special device and it's real simple. You just uh, you plug it into any household outlet then you insert the hose and plug in the sensor. And then you place the applicator tip in the applicator holder make sure it snaps and secure. These are the indicator lights and uh, once you start it up this blue one will come on indicating that it's it's heating up. It'll make some beeping noises and go through some airflow changes and then uh, about a minute and a half or so this green one will come on steady and then the beeping noises will stop uh, if at some point in time it gets too warm which we've never seen the red will come on and then you'll have to shut it down for a little bit these there's openings here that we have to make sure that are up so everything has a certain way of working for this to work out the best and it's all engineered and designed to work one really way and so the way is is here on the side we're gonna go ahead and use the applicator tip and place it onto the neck or scalp and use an overlapping type of idea on the side and on the bottom we want to overlap by one row so you would place it like this and you, you can rock it a little bit to make sure that it's on the scalp and the neck. And you can put your hand over the top. The air will be blowing and so you want to kind of keep it like this so it keeps all the heat inside. The way that this, uh, the theory of the, the heated air is that we want to keep all the heated air in here. And what will happen is it starts accumulating and building up and this is where it becomes highly effective so it's important at 30 seconds and you'll have a timer on your wrist that at 30 second mark we want to go ahead and move over and we'll move over and you overlap another big component of for this to work correctly is we want to overlap one half to a third and as you overlap you make sure you get all the hair together and you place it underneath the hair it's another important aspect of the louse buster to make sure that it works correctly and then you keep your hand over the top and we just continue this pattern all the way around of lifting, placing under, and then here at the end, you want to overlap again, something like so. And then it will come up a little more and we'll go over and we do this one pattern pretty much going around here. And then there's another segment here where a second part will actually start at the top. You lift the hair again. We'll go right here, expose the scalp. And we'll do this for 30 seconds again. We'll go all the way around. And then the final portion will be right here in the front. But we'll actually lift the hair like so and hold it in. Uh, as you can see, very simple, very easy to use. Um, 30 second intervals in each area. And uh, using your hands and, and you'll definitely do a great job. So this part of the process is probably our most important part of the process. Um, there's several different factors we have to think about. One of them is getting the hair prepared for the combing. Uh, the second part is making sure that we keep straight lines when we do the combing. And the third part would be using the terminator comb properly. These things we're, we're going to be showing you right now. So here in the beginning, again, you know, using this would not be necessary because the, the hair is ready to go. So uh, the rat tail comb you'll be using for the most part all the time. So what we want to do is make sure that the hair is, is ready to go. Her hair is pretty easy so it makes it very easy for us. We want to go ahead and see if it's going to flow all the way down through and looks like it will. Uh, what you will be using is this. You'll use this every time no matter what. Even tangled, untangled. This helps to slide the eggs off the strand much easier. It's a, it's a natural enzyme. And what we want to do is go ahead and spray the hair only so much with it. But first of all, we want to go ahead and start organizing ourselves. You must organize yourself or 
the worst case scenario is that you would get lost and then you would forget if you had done this part or this part or down here. So right off the bat, you want to start with a well-organized strategy to be able to put these into little squares so we can use the terminator cone. So we want to go ahead and use the, rat, the, the pointy part of your cone and you can run it right down the side. It's not sharp, it won't hurt. So right down the side, about the length of the comb, and then you add a little bit more. As you get better at it, you'll be able to do this without even um, having to use the comb to give you an idea. But let's just say there, you run it down, you want to make sure it's straight down. Now these, this seems very easy, and it, it really is. But the discipline of doing it every time, even though you feel you may not need to, that is the, the greater part. Because you have to make sure you have a habit of doing this every time. Because what will happen if you don't come straight down and you start moving over here, um, you can start to become askew. And then what happens is pretty soon you're in this weird situation where the hair is just not lining up. And so these are the greater parts. The clips aren't just to hold hair. The clips are to hold flat on the scalp like so and hold it and put the clip tight into the part here to keep the hair down because as you move in with the comb, the comb tends to snag hair and it can become very difficult. So now that we got our nice line, we want to go ahead and move into making a nice little square. And again, you come to the front, lift up, kind of make your nice little square again using this end, which you'll be using for the most part. Keep it in your hand. We want to spray a little bit of this on, being careful not to soak the hair. We don't want to soak the hair. We want to make it just enough. And then we're going to go ahead and run the comb flat onto the scalp all the way deep into the comb and then moving the comb out as you hold the hair so you don't hurt her and then moving it away from you not on you. This is the big part. And then you want to go ahead and kind of give it a little uh, action on the tongs to get whatever might be out. And we want to do this on all sides. So I did this side. So I want to go ahead and move on this side, and we want to hold the tongue always on the scalp, all the way through. And you come up deep into the comb, and you cock your wrist a little bit, keeping it deep into the comb, moving away from you. And that is basically, generally, how it's going to be done. The trick is doing it every time to every square, all the way through the head. And so with practice, it can become very easy. Um, and we want to start on this side again, holding it away again and that is pretty much it we want to make sure that every time we drop it in there and then of course you'd want to do the same thing here with your little cone and we would want to spray this area and pretty much go all the way around and again the the, the three points would be making sure that you organize yourself the hair Second would be to get yourself a nice straight line to stay organized and continue to be organized as you go around the head. And number three would be using the comb properly to stay on the scalp deep into the comb and then combing away from you. And so we would show you how to do this every time and with practice you'll become perfect. Thanks again for watching the Laos Buster video. If you have any kind of questions or any kind of concerns, we're going to go ahead and show you how to do it with the hands-on training.